All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is the <laughs> November 12th, I believe. It's about 1.30 uh, in the afternoon. All right, what in the heck am I doing driving again? What am I doing posting a video of driving for? Well, I'm kind of bored. And I thought I'd go ahead and do an update video. Um, what am I doing? I am on my way back home. I'm shooting north. Right now, I'm just outside of Battle Creek. I'm on 69, heading towards Lansing and heading up north that way, back home. I have got an easy another six and a half hours to go yet. Uh, long drive, this will make 1,000 miles in about 36 hours. Uh, what are you gonna do? Why am I already heading north? Uh, well, if, if you've been a viewer, if, you, if you've kept up with the videos, you'll understand that I have an off-the-job farm as well, uh, a few days a week. I'm very lucky and grateful to have. Um, we've I'm in the business of railroad signals and communications construction, and uh, things are good, things are well. Uh, they always have been, they always will be. Right now we have some contractional issues uh, contractional issues unfortunately that have caused us to basically shut down completely for a little while until the dust settles now it's not going to be forever for example we have an ongoing Chicago project that Chicago project had three legs to it uh, the third leg as I'm gonna call it is gonna start back up the Monday after Thanksgiving uh, we also have a pretty significant contract down here in Michigan going into Indiana. I'm only hopeful that we're going to start throwing dirt as well there, as I say it, throwing dirt, uh, the Monday after Thanksgiving as well. So split crews and uh, whatnot. Well, it was a good opportunity to bring everyone down to, I uh, just come from Niles, which is about the extreme southwest of Michigan corner. Uh, brought everybody in. We had a big meeting about what's going on, expectations. I actually have a couple guys that I need to ship to Austin for a couple of weeks. Got things straight there. And then we took advantage of uh, sitting down and tackling a little bit of higher learning um, concerning crane operations and rigging. So uh, we made the best out of it and whatever. So I'm heading north. It's kind of a funny story. I should not be on the road that I'm on, but I missed my exit around the Kalamazoo area. To shoot up towards Grand Rapids. A lot of you Michiganders will understand what I'm talking about right now. Uh, instead of turning around on the next exit, I just said the heck with it, and I'm taking uh, this way home as well. Instead, reason being is I have a lot of memories. I've taken this trip on this road so many times in the last five or six years, and I just I felt like taking a different way home, so I just kept going. It's not going to matter what time I get home anyway because it's going to be after dark and all the chores will be done anyway, so no harm, no foul. A lot of things have changed in life um, since I started driving this road right here five, six years ago. A lot of things have changed. Uh, many, 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 many for the good. Some, uh, some you don't choose, but change nonetheless. I don't know how else to put it, so... Anyway, yeah, I'm shooting home north. I ought to be home for a good solid week and a half or better. Uh, it's, it's not what you choose, but uh, that's the way life is right now. So anyway, what this video about is about is uh, mainly just an update and to give you kind of a respectful good forewarning that there ought to be some good things on the burner coming this week for uh, videos and updates. A um, few things going on. Number one, and it might happen as early as tomorrow, tomorrow early afternoon, early evening. Hold on, things are getting tricky. Get out of the way. All right. We are going to, and I can almost promise you a video, we are going to go take a look at some Red Angus. I visited a great gentleman and a great cattleman no more than about three, four, five miles from me that uh, has been dealing with Red Angus now. I remember when people were laughing at him, sort of laughing. Um, well, nobody's laughing at him anymore, and he does such a wonderful job. Anyway, I had the absolute pleasure of sitting down with him a couple few weeks ago, 
We went for a ride, went and looked at his cattle, then we went and sat at what I'm gonna call his little ranch. He's got a little camp there. We sat down, uh, chewed the fat for a little bit, had a couple of Diet Cokes, and um, he'd really like to see me take on some of his cattle. And right now, folks, we're talking about five. Um, I'm gonna deal with that number. I haven't made my mind up yet if I'm going to or not, but we came up with a special date with a special price in mind by that date for some cattle. And what we're looking at here is some uh, Red Angus heifers. A lot of you will disagree, but it comes down to, uh, you know, it comes down to the dollar. Um, I do have my choice of some bred heifers ready to calf this spring or just, you know, this, this past year's heifers in minds of being bred August. I still got to think about this, but I'm going to see what I can, I, I don't know. Anyway, stay tuned for a video. Um, I'm sure he won't mind. In fact, I'll probably even head over there when he's not there because I have uh, uh, the invitation to do so to uh, take a look at his animals. They're all penned up now. They're all weaned off and um, it'd be a good opportunity to get a look at them and pick out the ones that I want uh, if, of course, he's willing to let those go. Okay, another big uh, possibility this week is taking a uh, taking a look at some new property. If you keep up with the videos, I've mentioned this a couple times, there is a total, I'm going to call it about 60 acres worth of farmable property, no more than a mile and a half from me. It's some good property, good landowners. Um, the one field does have some low spots in it, but what are you going to do? The world can't be perfect. This property is split up into three different parcels. There's a beautiful, I'm going to say almost a 20 acre hay field up on a hill. There's about a 15 acre parcel there right on the homestead. And then there's a good sized 25 acre field to the other side of the road on the west. Um, I did some talk, and I don't know if I talked to you about it. I am not set up to take that kind of land on, especially when it comes to tillage. I've decided, uh, decided it last night, if everybody's willing, I'm going to take on the whole thing. Now, I don't have the equipment to take all that on, especially that big 25-acre chunk. I'll wreck my stuff. What I've decided to do is kind of start this journey and taking on this property which is needed, wanted and needed, needed most importantly. And what I'm probably gonna have to do, and I'm okay with it, is pay a custom fee for it to be tilled under in the spring. Right now it's standing corn. I'm only gonna do the video and we're only gonna take a look-see at it if the corn is off. Otherwise, I don't really have a whole lot of business in there <clears throat> right now. And obviously only a video if the blessing has been given by the landowners who actually came to me this summer uh, about taking on the property at an uh, extremely generous rental price, which uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you has nothing to do with money. It has to do with a certain amount of uh, round bales. Um, given for some horse feeding. Um, they just, they want their property tended to, taken care of correctly every year by a dedicated individual close by and uh, boom, here I am. So I'm looking very excited for that. Uh, number three, uh, the shirt that I has on kind of says it all. You know, I packed my bags yesterday morning to take off for this time that I've been gone and uh, it's it's the days before hunting season, which is really big for us. And uh, I usually don't dress like this when I'm doing all this traveling. I'm kind of dressed for comfort, for crying out loud. But uh, this is uh, in honor of some hunting season. You're gonna get some videos of hunting season like you did last year. Nothing too intense, no shooting of animals. That's, I'm not taking or posting things of that. But just a simple walk out to the blind, the territory, where I'm at, um, explain you where I'm at. Probably a couple of different blinds, the, uh, the one behind the barn that you've been seeing videos of. And then there's a high rise 
called a high rise because it's off the ground um, with a with a couch in it um, in the hardwoods which is just absolutely beautiful so stay tuned for some possible good videos of some hunting season and maybe even a little bit of camp living uh, maybe a buck pole report walking out to the blinds kind of showing you where I'm at and all that other stuff so kind of a big week coming up a good happy positive week as far as I'm concerned um, things are going pretty dang good pretty well uh, you know our winters kind of started if you watch the videos you've seen that I have this feeling it's gonna stay so uh, things are good things are in good order things are in good shape they need to continue going that way but it's ultimately positive so anyway folks just kind of a little update here I wanted to burn uh, what am I about 11 minutes here just on a little video here and a little update while I'm traveling and uh, just letting you know to stay tuned for some uh, good information this week some good viewing pleasure I look forward to making the videos I always do it's kind of a part of life now it's uh, it's fun for me I've said that a thousand times and uh, I want it to continue to be fun and um, that's it so a lot of things coming up I hope everybody's doing okay I really do I know it's a Monday Mondays are kind of a drag but uh, it's up to you to make them a little bit better and uh, that's about it so folks we're gonna talk to you sooner and later